Hello everybody, welcome to Minutes with PJ. Today's date, September 4, 2016. It is Sunday and our discussion word is unleavened. In Exodus 12:17, And you shall observe the feast of unleavened bread, for in this selfsame day have I brought your enemies out of the land of Egypt. Therefore shall you observe this day in your generation by an ordinance forever. Deuteronomy 16, 8, 6 days, Thou shalt eat unleavened bread on the seventh day, shall be a solemn assembly to the Lord thy God. Thou shalt do no work therein. In Judges 6.21, Then the angel of the Lord put forth the end of the stuff that was in his hand, and touched the flesh and the unleavened cakes. And there rose up fire out of the rock, and consumed the flesh and the unleavened cakes. Then the angel of the Lord departed out of his sight. In 2 Chronicles 30.21, And the children of Israel that were present at Jerusalem kept the feast of unleavened bread seven days with great gladness. And the Levites and the priests praised the Lord day by day, singing with loud instruments unto the Lord. In Mark 14.1, after two days was the feast of the Passover and of unleavened bread, and the chief priests and scribes sought how they might take him by craft and put him to death. Now this word defying is made without yeast or other leavening agent. The Israelites celebrated the feast of Passover or unleavened bread, to remind them how they were freed from Egypt. The high priest would prepare an offering of unleavened bread mixed with oil for an offering to God. Jesus was put to death before the Passover. Jesus Christ became the final blemish-free blood lamb sacrifice for sin. I want you to think about this today. Have a blessing.